Hello, it's Amanda from the Nina Haggerty Center with this week's weekly art challenge. I'm really excited to show you something that I've just started doing that I'm finding really fun. So you're going to need a few things from home. Number one is going to be instant coffee. You're also going to need some hot water. It can be just boiled out of your kettle or it could also just be really hot tap water from your house. You're going to need a dish or a container of some sort to keep your coffee paint in. You're going to need a piece of paper. Now I'm using a nice thick paper because this paint is going to be a lot like an ink or a watercolor. So if you use it on a thinner paper, you might find that the paper sort of wrinkles if it gets really wet. If that's all that you have at home, don't worry. Just use it and experiment with it and see how it goes. But if you do have a little bit of a thicker drawing paper, that would be a little bit better for this project. We also have some tools that you're going to need. You'll need a spoon, a paintbrush. You might be able to find some fun things at home like lids or cotton balls or Q-tips to do some fun mark making with. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make our paint. So we're going to take one scoop of coffee. And we're going to take a nice big scoop of water. So it's usually pretty equal. One scoop coffee, one scoop water. We can adjust it afterwards if the paint is too thick, but you're just going to mix it all up until you start to see the clumps of coffee disappear. If you have really big clumps, just leave it to sit a little bit and the clumps will soften and you should be able to mix them in. Now we want a nice sort of liquid paint. So when I look at the thickness of this, it's, it's pretty thick, so I might add just a touch more water to it because I do want it to be paint like or ink like so that it flows a little bit around. All right, that's perfect. So feel free to adjust how thick or thin your paint is, but if you do add too much water, you'll find that your paint gets really, really light and we want our paint to be nice and dark. So one of the things that I like to do best with this type of project is I like to do texture studies. So texture is the feel of something and when we're making art we can add texture to our drawings and paintings by changing the way that we make marks on our paper. So we can have really thin, long lines. We can have fatter, darker ones. And when you look at all of the lines put together, they will start to create a texture. This one to me is almost like tree bark. So that's one thing I like to do is experiment with textures. We can also paint with cotton balls. You'd be surprised the type of marks that you can make with cotton balls. We can build up some really cool textures. We have our little lids. So we can use those for mark making. There's also our little cotton swabs, and we can use those for making polka dots. So we can really just play around with 
these different these different mark making tools and these different techniques. to create some really interesting abstract art. So some other examples, we have ones like this. There's also this one. So I think you should try this. It's super fun. It smells delicious as long as you like coffee. And you never know, you might make something amazing. Have fun. Bye.